Howdy folks, West Kentucky Outdoors here. I'm trying to be very quiet because a couple of birds, literally as I came out the door, were just right there staring at me. And I sort of spooked them off and I was hoping I'd get a good shot on them. That didn't happen. Today I'm sort of doing like another shotgun mod again. My, like, I don't know if I upload this video or not, but I did a shotgun mod. I did a shotgun mod where I just load multiple BBs into my gun and then just shot it like that. And I'll tell you, it works, the spread. I've sort of gotten an eye on what the spread is like. It really just depends on how many pumps you're putting in the gun. The first time I did this, I was on the phone with my friends, so you guys didn't get to see this unless you're following me on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, then, you know, you've probably seen this. Um, just go to my pictures. You'll see a picture of a dove. I was using this, and a dove flew within 10 feet of me, and I shot it. The spread, um, um, I have my own little names for it. It's, it's funny. I'm calling this one the wide of two <laughs> just to make it sound fancy but that is whenever you just have two that's what I killed that dove with just two BBs loaded in there it, the magnet is strong enough to hold two but it won't hold three which is weird but it's fine it holds two BBs at the most and unless you put a magnet on one of the BBs, then it'd probably hold as many as you wanted in there if you put a magnet on all of them past two. Well, every two you have to have a magnet in order to hold as many as you want. And that would, you know, but the more you put in there, the worse the velocity is, which makes sense. That's how it is with shotguns, too, in real life. The more the, If you have BBs like these, the more, you, the more BBs you have in it, the slower it's going to fly because the power has to get to each individual BB. And by the time it gets to all of them, it's pretty much slowed them down. Depending on how much you have, it'll be about halfway. So I'm shooting two again. I got what that would be. I shot double... I shot doubles a few times at this bucket bird feeder over here. Um, you can see them. There's, I don't know if y'all can see that. That right there, that up there. You can see them whenever they're like that. Because there's a big hole and there's a smaller hole under it. I'm sort of confused because whenever I hit the dove, I'm further range there. Okay, I, I was further range shooting those some of the time. I was a little bit closer than the dove once. I don't remember exactly because this was well over a month ago. So I could have been closer range. I know I was closer range. Ah, I'm so stupid. Okay, yes, I was closer range. So now it makes sense again. I remember now I was closer range shooting at that bucket. And the BBs were tight. The spread was tight almost exactly like you'd imagine it to be. What you'd imagine it to be is one comes out, especially how this is loaded, just like the same, just one row. You'd imagine one to come out and the other one to just be right behind it. And that's not exactly the case. For some reason, it sort of flips so they're sideways instead of forwards. So instead of my fingers, my finger and thumb are the BBs. Instead of it going out like this, which is what you'd imagine it to be, what should be going out as, it comes out like this. Which is really weird. And I don't know why. But that happens. Whenever I shot the dove, he was in that tree at the corner there. He was at one of the far branches and he fell off into that yard there and I had to climb over the fence and get him. But the range I was sitting 
I was right here. My phone was right here. I was calling my friend on my old phone. He was sitting right up there. And I was sitting here. So this, he, he was over there. Mm, a few yards away. At further range than I would try to shoot at a small bird. But I shoot further range than that. And I kill things all the time. So it's fine. Like, especially up there behind the house. I shoot a bunch of starlings there. But right there, the spread was about as wide as my fingers can go. I hit him once in the head, which was probably enough to be a kill shot. Went sh completely through his brain. Killed him right then. He, he lingered a little bit, but I doubt he felt any pain. Good thing. And also... Also, he had one, I'm not exactly sure because I didn't see, whenever I skinned him, I didn't see exactly where the BB went through, but I think it might have hit him in the spine, the lower spine or the hip, but if it did, then it just barely hit the top. I think it probably went over the lower spine or the hip. And that one wasn't really good enough to be a kill shot. But the thing is, I wasn't aiming for the head. I was aiming in the middle. So the spread worked. If I would have hit, if I only had one BB in there, and this thing was perfectly accurate, I might have killed him. But it would have hit him in the wing. He would have felt a bunch of pain. And he'd have time to fly further enough away where I wouldn't have been able to grab him. And then he'd just flop on the ground, still alive, pretty much just suffering there. So, you know, he, he's very lucky that I had that at the time because I was aiming about where his wing would be. He was not facing broadside. I mean, wait. He was facing broadside, which means he was sideways to me, which the wing was facing me. So if I would hit where I hit him, where I was hoping to hit him, it would have hit the wing and would have gotten away and then just suffered and died later. So that's, yeah. So I've been just sort of shooting, practicing with this a little bit lately with modding my BB gun a little bit. But what I've seen is adding pressure, which would usually, if you add pressure, it would just blow out the barrel. But it didn't. It doesn't blow out the barrel like that, like it should. A matter of fact, it sort of lessens what it needs to be. It sort of lessens the power instead of making it more. Which is very weird. It should, adding pressure, the air should hold back a little bit and have a little bit more power to push the BBs out. But what happens is instead of that adding pressure, it sort of acts like I put three BBs in, in there instead of two. And it's not like what I've seen shooting three. Shooting three be like this. This would be the spread. Okay, it'd go out like this. Exactly. It'd have the two, and then it'd shoot out through the middle with one. But here, what I've used to add pressure, it doesn't shoot it through the middle. It shoots out the side, and it makes the BBs just, just, it's not coming out right. What I have been using, though, let's air through it I don't have anything that's not gonna let air through it paper towels paper stuff like that you're not gonna keep air from going through it and just having it blow out so yeah matter of fact shotgun shells have things inside of them to hold pressure out to hold out the pressure make the pressure a little bit greater and that makes them more powerful I hear a bird Ooh, there he was bunch flying over um I'm sorry for this 
big talk. What I was trying to do is get my BB gun out here with the mod. And I was going to put three in at first, but I shot at a bird with three and I missed. Matter of fact, I don't think I missed. I think I hit him in the lower back and he got away. So I'm not going to do that no more. I'm going to shoot two. I might have to aim low. Especially at the range that these birds can get. I think that the BBs, it, it's a little bit different, you know. They're not completely accurate. So once it might shoot real wide and once it might stay real tight. I don't know. I'm hoping they stay real tight so I'm going to aim for the lower spine. So even if they do stay real tight, I'll still kill him. But if they don't, it'll hit him in the head and kill him that way. So that's what I'm hoping. Also, another possibility is that they just go all out of whack and just, like, not even hit the bird at all. So might shoot low, high, might even go to the sides. I don't know. I haven't really been practicing with a visible target that I'm going to see exactly where I hit. I just been throwing things out and shooting them like nuts, tree nuts. I just throw them out in the yard, shoot them that way, and they explode, which means I hit them, but it doesn't show me how tight or how wide the BBs are going. So yeah, that's not good. I need to get a cardboard box out, draw some sort of target on it, shoot that way, be fine and be perfect but that's not happening I don't have cardboard right now to shoot at well I'm sure I could find some but I'm not gonna look right now I do have that bucket but it's got so many holes and I probably wouldn't e even know how where I hit it at Ooh, I hear some birds that's always nice I'm gonna get my BB gun might sit down on chair or stairs or something like that and whenever they fly over I'm just gonna bust them out of the sky so I'm gonna pull up this chair right here move it all the way back here that should be fine ooh that is wet from where it rained get you and come sit down uh, also if you follow me on Instagram you probably already saw whoops you probably already saw my yellow perch my first one I did have a monster right after I caught that one casted it out again almost had a monster I'd say that thing was a couple of pounds. But, you know, maybe not. I don't know. I'm bad at guessing these things. It's like my 30 pound monster catfish. I mean, that, I think I guess that pretty good. He's a monster. He's longer than I am tall. I'm waiting for these things to come out. I'm not sure that they will. I'm hoping they do. I see them, but they're just not in my yard. They're not in the places that I'm going to have to hunt in. If I'm even allowed to hunt. Ooh. Oh, dude. No, don't don't fly all the way. Uh, there's a place. This is why I want a high power. Not, not like the ones that I've shot. I've shot BB pistols before. They are not powerful. Especially... The ones I've shot, the spring-loaded ones and the ones that take cylinders, they're just, they're just not that powerful. I mean, shooting them at thin plastic just makes a little dent. I mean, I've got old pat BB guns that I can shoot at myself and not even get hurt that are more powerful than that. <laughs> I'm wanting one that's really high powered because I can sort of hide it a little bit better. 
so it's not going to be as weird. Like, I'm not going to be packing this thing down the road looking for birds. I can go down the creek, lay down in one of the spots. I know a bunch of them where the walls are high. No one goes around there. I've seen very few people walk anywhere near there. The walls are real high. You just get up on the wall and squirrels and birds, starlings, blackbirds, gray squirrels, any everything gets around there. And I just lay down there with the pistol, look up, wait for a bird. Also, something that might be a little bit better than that, they make BB shotguns. Air, they're not airsoft shotguns. They're actually, they shoot like pellets. And they're a lot more powerful than those airsoft shotguns. You have to charge them up, but they're smaller. I can fit them in my backpack and just walk down there again, sit on a high dirt wall, a mud wall, whatever you want to call it, a little cliff made out of dirt. Got a bunch of trees around it. Just see one? Yeah. And these things don't even make a noise, they just go. And then you just see a dead bird. Um, I've seen the three. Three of them th flew like this over me. And they flew that way. I know that they're in that tr They fly over to a tree. That's way out there. Mm, but I can't, I can't shoot them where, where they fly to. There's one. I hear one somewhere. I'm not sure where. It might be those three. Another three flying to the exact same place those guys went to. There's just a tree way back there. Just I thought there, it had black leaves on it, and I rode my scooter, and all of a sudden, a bunch of birds. Jeez. But whenever I'm just sitting right here, nothing. I've seen a few flocks fly over. Not very many. Then again, what are you going to do? You're in the middle of a city. You don't have as much... You don't have um, as much space to shoot on as you would if you had a woods, if you lived around woods and stuff like that. they just get all over. I'm waiting for... I think my dad said May 15th is when squirrel season comes back in. And it gets out June 1st. This not even a month but it stays in f at the start of frog season too and frog season is gets really interesting it gets crazy I mean I have literally had to jump in a pond while frog gigging I have thrown a frog gig at a fish that's this big It's crazy. Done yet? Oh, there's a that's a robin. I'm not sure. One thing I'm I learned today: robins and starlings and blackbirds don't fight like I thought they did. I thought that the robins, since they're a lot bigger, they'd scare all my other hunting birds away. No. That's not the case. But, so I'm not trying to kill one. I'm trying to get one to shed a couple red feathers. There's one right up there. And what I can do is I can just pump it up about five times, aim, hope I hit him. There you go. Won't hurt him, just pluck a few feathers out. Oh my gosh, if he lands in my tree. I'm going to look up here. Ooh, that's close. Ooh, that's right there. Oh, not in my yard, though. He landed in another tree. I'm going to look up here. Hope there's some blackbirds and starlings. Shh. Oh my gosh, there's one right there. When your shotgun mod doesn't work. 
two. Two BBs. Again, hashtag ricochet squad. If you haven't watched that video, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was scary. The scary video. Go watch that one. I shot, I was shooting BBs, and every time I hit a can, just... Just hitting everything. Well, now every time I ricochet off something, I have to say hashtag ricochet squad. So go comment that. If you heard me say this, go down right now. Comment ha hashtag ricochet squad. <laughs> oh, jeez. I just, I, I was aiming at the bird. I mean, he was right there. Right in front of me, matter of fact, where that blackbird almost landed. He was right in this tree. Maybe 20, 30 yards away. I'm bad at calculating how far things are. About 20, 30 yards away, though, I'm pretty sure. He was behind. Two sticks. That just happened to be perfectly spaced out. I was aiming through the middle of the sticks thought that at least one of those was going to hit the blackbird. I mean, the starling. It was a starling. He had a short tail. I was thinking one of them had to. They fly and they fly and they fly and that bird's just sitting there. It hit the two sticks perfectly. It didn't even break the sticks. I mean, that's 16 pumps. That's 15 to 16 pumps right there. Or it might have been 10, I don't know. But either way, that shooter went through those sticks. It hit perfectly. A perfect angle to the point where they bounced off. Lost a whole bunch of power, over half of their power that they had flying up there. Hit the sticks. Boom. Hit this area right here. This And it hit that fence right there and bounced off into here. The other one hit that, hit, hit one of those trees up there, hit the fence. That, if I had only had one BB, I would have killed that thing. Lately, I, I don't know how. I'm not hitting them like I'm thinking I am. I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm, not paying attention what part I'm aiming at. I make sure that my dot is on the black part of the bird. Okay, that's make sure it's on the bird. I don't know how accurate I've been shooting. I don't know any of that. I don't know where I'm aiming at the bird. I just know I'm aiming at a bird. Here lately, just shooting one BB. I've been I haven't even been hitting the outside of the feathers. It hasn't been touching that part. What's happening is they're, while they're squawking, while they're squawking up there in the tree, or on the power line, is where I usually kill them, while they're squawking on the power line, they have their mouth open. And I don't even realize this, I shoot while their mouth is open. The BB hits them in the throat, and I guess it goes through their lungs or their stomach or something, and it just pops something in there and just kills them. Like, doesn't even touch the outside of their body. A perfect throat shot. I don't even think it hit any bones. It just went straight through the digest digestive tract or the air hole, air line, whatever. The air passage. <laughs> just went straight through the air and just popped the lungs. Either way, it's kill, and I'm fine with it. This is where I put my foot down. There's another one. I'm just gonna look one in this time. It just flew in right there. If I sneak, if I sneak under that building, that little parking place, I'm probably gonna be able to hit him. Oh, I don't know why I just stepped in, but no, oh, I think it was dog poop. It might have been mud. I hope that was mud. Ah, whoever it was coming off that foot. I'm just gonna shoot one. I'm gonna shoot this one right here. My BB gun's not completely loaded right now with BBs. I'm gonna make sure he's still there. Is he? Nope. Well, that's the end of this video because I'm just gonna.
drop that through the barrel. It's the end of this video. I'm just gonna walk over this way because I have to do some stuff quick. So, um, this has been West Kentucky Outdoors. Just shooting blackbirds and starlings, at least trying to. They're everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Flying, I mean, they're not everywhere. I see one every few minutes. At one o'clock every few minutes. Most of them are comprised of three now. Earlier in the year, in the last week, it was two. Just two birds every time. Not never. It was never one. It was never three. It was always two. And two in a flock, always. Now it's three. I don't understand. All I'm ready for is the squirrels to come back. So, you know, just been strolling hunting today, and shooting some shotgun mods. It's perfectly fine. I'm gonna try to put something in there. Like a little homemade choke. <laughs> Just to control the spread a little bit. It's not going to do anything really. I have a way to keep it wider. With a, I can keep it tighter or I can keep it wider. If I, if I want to keep it tighter, I can either do tighter towards the top or tighter towards the bottom. If I go tighter towards the bottom though. It's going to have a less chance of hitting the bird if I go tighter towards the top. I might have a greater chance. Because the it'll be straight. Straighter. I'll be able to control how straight it is. And be able to see. I'm not sure. So if it's tighter towards the top, all the BBs should come out the top, but if it's tied towards the bottom, I have no doubt that these things are just going to blow through that choke. Because I can't see how tight it is, so maybe I can just go tighter towards the middle. Still not going to... Oh, no. Oh, he was right there. I'm not even going to try to shoot at him. I, I got to pee really bad. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <sighs> so, you know. You can, you can stay up there for now. I'm not going to shoot you, okay? We cool? Good. He gone. He, he's already gone. <coughs> so. Y'all know. I'm going to make this choke out of paper. So if something does happen to where... N not all the BBs go through it. It'll, it won't mess up my gun or anything. It won't ricochet back. It'll go just straight through the choke. And hopefully just shoot off to the side a little bit. And that'll help it a little bit. I'm going to try to find, like, even a piece of metal would work. A piece of plastic or a piece of metal. That fit, that's just tight to my, the outside of my, the barrel of my gun to add pressure and blow straight through. It'll be good. Now, I do have an idea of how I'm going to load, well, not load, but how this choke will work. In order to keep it tight, I have to have a tighter circle on either the outside or the inside, and then a wider circle on the opposite side of that how I can get a wider spread is just you know keeping the thing even taking it out but I want to have it come out straight I'm not I don't want it to go shoot through the sides or anything so just load in there and make sure everything's perfectly even it should just blow straight through there will be like an extra little barrel that keeps things straighter. So it will change the atmosphere like they're outside almost. Like they're outside of the gun. But they're going to keep flying straight. Unless paper is just too weak for that. But if they do blow out the side of the paper. Then if we had like 
a real metal choke to go for this thing, which they don't make. I know this. That's a freaking BB rifle. Air rifle. Whatever you want to call it. So, you know, if it's something metal, like a metal tube to act like it, that's, it, it would just bounce off the metal and mess up the shot completely, so I'm not going to kill whatever I'm aiming at, and I'm not, I'm not going to, it might mess up my gun there, let's put it that way. It'll bounce back, it'll hit back to the pin, the magnet. It might rub the magnet off, and it won't work. So I'll always have to be aiming up. I'm not going to be able to hit birds off the ground. Everything has to be higher than me, to some degree. Which is fine, because that's usually how I shoot, but I don't want that to be broken. I don't want to break my gun. So we're going to stick to a metal choke for now. And we'll be fine. I don't see anything yet. Oh, why am I looking? Okay, bye. <laughs> there. Just bye.